Hello YouTube. How are you today? My name is Laura. I do have a degree in programming. However, I did not end up using it and it was a few years ago. But because of this degree, I'm able to read and manipulate and work with HTML, CSS, just about any type of program, programming language, really. But I'm not really as proficient, you know, as I should be. <laughs> I end up getting ADHD and not concentrating as I should. I found this website, which I didn't know existed, but I found it through a YouTuber who mentioned it. And I found it rather fascinating. It is free. As you can see up here, I am not signed in. It's called the Odin Project. It is open source. Um, as far as all the lessons and everything, it's, it's, um, there's no charge. Okay. And it's really fascinating what they have to offer. They have a Discord server. You can contribute, donate, community guides, installation guides. I mean, really cool. Now, let's see what we can get. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I miss my Twitter. I love the tweet bird. Okay. Anyways, what we have up here, we're going to just take a quick look. This is the about page, as you can see. Then we have all paths up here. It says foundations, explore, choose a learning path, full stack Ruby on Rails, full stack JavaScript, support, and that's what they have on this page. Okay. I know there's more, but because I was just looking at CSS <laughs> a minute ago. <clears throat> Foundations course. How this course will work. Introduction to web development. Motivation and mindset. Asking for help. Join the Odin community. Now, I do want to say one thing. You know, so much hype is out there on being a tech, learn to be a tech, learn to code, da da da. Okay, look, here's, here's the deal. If you don't mind sitting still, looking at a computer, and concentrating on focusing on the code, what it's doing, trying to figure things out, and learning to be patient while doing so, while still handling a, you know, time constraint on how long it takes to get a project done. That, you know, you only have so much time and then they, they, they want that project done. Usually non-technical people, managerial type people, don't understand it takes time to do things. Anyways, if that's not you, if you do not think that you would like to do those things in that manner and sit still and you know, concentrate on such things, then that coding is not for you. Now, what you can do though, which you should do, everyone should learn the basics. Everyone should learn everything that's on this page enough to understand what's going on. Okay? And that way, when you hire somebody and they talk to you and you interview them or or you look at a website and you see what's good or bad about it, you have a general idea of what they're talking about and how to evaluate it and so forth. You understand some of the language and so forth. Because it's pretty common knowledge now to understand all of these things. Not so that you can be a proficient, but at least have a general idea about what they're for, what they are, and how they're used. And things like that. 
So I suggest, and you don't even have to look, look at this, sign in, get started. I'm not logged in. This is amazing how this course will work. Keep on going. Look at that. All this information is available without signing in. Go back. Introduction to Web Development. Go back. And even like Introduction to Web Development. You know, it talks about freelancers, it talks about full stack developers, front end, back end. So if you, you know, understand what these terms mean and you want to hire somebody, you'll get an idea of what kind of person you want to hire, what kind of skills you understand they should have, and things like that. It's good to have open, um, productive communication with your programmers, your developers, and understand what they're talking about. Okay. Let's go back again. Look at this. I mean, I can go through all of this. It says here, learning to code is incredibly rewarding but it can also be difficult and frustrating. Well, it's frustrating for people who don't want to sit there and learn and work with code. They just want, th they want like the difference between the person under the hood working on a car to the person who simply does not want to do that. They want to just turn the key and go and have somebody else do it, you know. That's okay. That's why we have two different, you know, variety of people where some wants to do that and some does not. And that is exactly, that is just fine. That's great. We need both types of personalities. But what's important is to learn enough to understand what's going on. That's always important. There's no such thing as wasting time learning. I never th believe that. Um, it's never a waste of time to learn something. <clears throat> and then when you have conversation, like if you understand what's going on under the hood, but you don't want to work on it, and the mechanic says, well, this and this and this is broken, and this is loose, and this costs that, and so forth, you know, you could have a general idea of what they're talking about. If you know absolutely nothing about what they're talking about, don't even know what oil is or where it goes or why it exists, um, you know, you're just putting your life in their hands, pretty much. Um, it's, it's good to, to know something and to have a general idea about things, even if you don't want to actually be under the hood, you know. And that's what this is really about is the more you learn here the more you can understand what's going on and if i don't want to you know program it still feels really good to learn all this stuff even though i'm i'm basically very interested i love this kind of stuff but if you don't that's okay asking for help i am just shocked and you know this is so fantastic that I don't have to log in to have access to all of this information. Follow us on X. Okay, they put X in here. Black X. I mean, who? Uh, don't get me started. <laughs> so, rubber duck debugging. Hmm. If you're feeling stuck, it's a good time to pause and take a breather. True. Break the problem down into little pieces, always, and then decide what is really holding you back. Uh, we call this technique rubber duck debugging. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard of that before. But, in general, modulation of a problem is always good understanding how each part of a problem works together with the other parts 
can help you find solutions. And, there, and you, you always want to test several different possibilities as to what can go right or wrong to decide which one's a better solution when you are problem solving. And when you break things down into little pieces, as in modulate the problem, you get to understand exactly how the situation works. And then it becomes really clear Oh, this works with that, this does not work with that, and so forth. <clears throat> you can also use Google. Now this should be changed to AI, ChatGPT, Gemini, Copilot. <laughs> Google is no longer the answer, but Google can be a little helpful. But they have, ChatGPT is so much more helpful than Google. Alone. Alone. Um, I have used ChatGPT to create my website, and then I change it and fill in the blanks, and, you know, just because I know how to read it, so I can put my images in there, and then I know where the files go on the server, and things like that. Um, and I know how to make the website coordinate with that so that they show up on the screen and if they don't show up on the screen I can figure out why and um, you know it's 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 really very helpful chat GPT has been very helpful because then you don't have to do everything 100 total 100 percent from scratch <laughs> um, asking for help Okay. Oh, this is very good too. Although you have to pay for that. I think they have a free version. I just learned about that today. Alright. So much good stuff here. So, um, chat features. So anyway, yeah, uh, this is a really fantastic site. And they have so much cool stuff here. I'm going to start going through it. I'm not even going to sign in. Just to go through the entire course. And check it out. So, um, yeah. Check it out. And, you know, write in the comments what you think about it. <laughs> we shall talk to you later. Have a good evening. Please like and subscribe and share. Um, if you like. It really does help a lot. Uh, I do have breast cancer, and so I'm sorry I haven't created videos. I'm gonna st I'm gonna work on it though. And yeah, let's learn together. <laughs> Talk to you later. Have a good evening.